friends. Today we are going to take another look at our alphabet book. This is the front cover, back cover, and the title. The title of this book is Alphabet Book, and this is the spine. Now, just like our big book of poems, this book also has a whole bunch of poems, but these poems are all alphabet poems. When I open it up, I see the title page. That's just to remind you of the title in case you forgot. And when I turn the page again, I see a special place called the table of contents. The table of contents tells you where to find things. Today, we will be looking at two letter poems for the letters I and J. Before we look at them, let's talk a little bit more about those letters. Just like you and I have names, letters have names too. And when we write our names, we use an uppercase letter. Each letter has both an uppercase and a lowercase. Now, my friends, before I write these letters down, I just wanted to remind you that this is the sky, the grass, and the ground. Let's look at the letter I. For uppercase I, you're going you're to gonna start, start in, in the sky, sky touch, touch the, the ground, ground up, up, across, across the, the sky, sky up, up, across, across the, the ground. ground. For, for, for lowercase lower I, I, we start, we start in, in the grass, the grass tail, tail on, on the, the ground, ground, and a and dot, dot above, above the, grass. the grass. That is the lowercase I. All right, my friends, I want to know what you notice about these letters. <gasps> You're right. Uppercase I is a lot bigger. Also, uppercase I has more lines than lowercase I. I do have to tell you a secret though. Sometimes people write the uppercase I, I like, like this. this. And, and that's, that's still, still correct. correct. It's, it's just, just one, one word of line. line. Uh, the, the problem, problem is, is that, that it can get, get kind, kind of confusing, confusing because, because when, when you write, write it like, like this, it, it looks, looks like, like it could be the number, number one or a lowercase L. L. So, so I, I like to make, make sure I include these, these horizontal, horizontal lines, lines so, so I know, know for sure that, sure that is the letter, letter I. I. All right, now, now let's look, look at lowercase, lowercase I. I. What, what do you notice? notice? You're, You're right, right. It's, it's a lot smaller and, and it has, has a little dot of the grass. grass. Okay, okay, I have, I have to, to tell you another, another secret. Sometimes people write the letter I like this. Lowercase I, my And, and it, it goes, goes just straight, straight down. down. And, and that's, that's also correct. Miss <laughs> G just, just likes to, to add the fancy little tail for her lowercase i. All right, friends. Now, let's look at our next letter. We're going to write the letter J. To write, to the, write letter the letter J, J I, start I start in, in the, the sky. sky. Curve on, on the ground. ground. Just, just like, like that. that. For lowercase lower j, j, I'm going to start, start in, in the grass, grass curve, dig, dig under, under the ground, ground, and a, and a dot, dot above, above the, grass. the grass. Now, my friends, what do you notice about uppercase j and lowercase j? You might say, they look pretty similar. They're both made of curved lines and they're about the same shape. Um, lowercase j is different because it has a dot above the grass and also it doesn't touch the sky, it starts in the grass. But, oh, it's also doing something special. Just like our lowercase g, it has a little hook that digs underground. One last thing to think about. Sometimes you'll also see that uppercase j has a line across the top. That's also correct. Sometimes people like to give it a little hat, and that's completely fine. All right, my friends, now that we've talked a little bit more about these letters, let's look at both of them. What do you notice? Well, when I look at I and J, 
they look pretty different. Uppercase I is all straight lines. And if you write lowercase i like Miss G with a fancy little tail, it looks kind of like a lowercase j, but wait, the little hook goes the other way and it, it also does not dig underground. Lowercase j digs underground. Hmm, let's see. But if you write your i this way, then it really just doesn't look like the j aside from the little dot. So I guess they're both kind of different. All right, friends. Now that we know a little bit more about the letters I and J, let's read some poems about them. And remember, we can check the table of contents to see where we can find them. I see the letter I is gonna be on page 20, and the letter J is gonna be on page 22. Let's look at our poem for the letter I first. And here we are. Now, let's make some observations. What do you notice about the illustrations on this page? What do you see? You might say, I see some pigs. How many pigs are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Hmm, let's see what else. What are the pigs doing, my friends? Well, it looks like this pig is digging, and it looks like this pig is hiding. And this pig is sitting in a rocking chair, and it looks like they might be sewing something with a needle and thread. And, oh, this, this pig has a wheelbarrow full of bricks. Wow, we made a lot of great observations. All right, I think we're ready to read our poem about the letter I. Ready? This little piggy likes to spin and stitch. This little piggy likes to dig a ditch. This little piggy likes to lift some bricks. But this little piggy wants to play some tricks. <gasps> Let's see if we can match the words to the pictures. Which piggy likes to spin and stitch? Oh, it must be this one because when you use a nut needle and thread, they, you make stitches. <laughs> Um, but what about the one that likes to dig a ditch? <gasps> You're right, it must be this one because he has a shovel and he's digging. Um, okay, which piggy likes to lift bricks? Oh, I guess that was an easy one. You can see him holding bricks. Well then, which one is trying to play tricks? <gasps> it must be this piggy because he's laughing and hiding. That sure was a fun poem about things that start with the letter I in them. Well, not start with the letter I, but there is a letter I in them. Let's look at our poem for the letter J. And before we read it, let's make some observations. Oh my goodness, my friends. There sure are a lot of things going on. You might say, I see a lot of people. Where are the people? Are they inside or outside? Oh, you're right, they're outside. Some of them are on the sidewalk and some of them are on the street. What kinds of things are they doing? Well, this girl looks like she's walking her dog and there's a boy playing with some jacks. Um, what else? Oh, there's a, a girl and her dad on the sidewalk and th it looks like she's holding a flag. Um, what else? There's um, a man with a drum, and there's a girl with a jump rope. Um, oh, and this little boy, I'm not too sure what he's doing, but he looks like he's having fun. There's also a whole bunch of people standing and waving, and there's a lady with something on the table and a girl with a clipboard looking at it. Hmm, well, I, I want to know a little bit more about what's going on because it looks like something special is happening. And I mean, I know that when people are marching on the street and other people are watching that it usually means there's a parade, but I wonder what this parade is for. Let's see if the poem gives us more clues. Julie jumps just for fun. Jaden jokes with everyone. Jamie judges homemade jam. 
Jenna jogs with puppy Sam. Jordan juggles jacks and toys. July's a month of jumbo joys. Wow, there sure is a lot going on. July really is a month of jumbo joys. And just lots of really fun things. Let's see if we can match the words to the pictures. So it says, Julie jumps just for fun. Oh, this must be Julie, because she's playing with a jump rope. Um, and Jaden jokes with everyone. Maybe it's this boy because he looks really happy and I think he's holding something. Maybe it's a bag of jokes or tricks. Um, and it says, Jamie judges homemade jam. Oh, that must mean these are jars of jam. And this must be Jamie because she has a clipboard probably to help her remember which jams she likes. Um, Jenna jogs with puppy Sam. Oh, well, that must be Sam and Jenna. And Jordan juggles jacks and toys. This must be Jordan, because I see the jacks and the little toys he has. Now, in the last line, it says, July's a month of jumbo joys. Well, I can see in the illustration that there's lots of red and blue, and that people are holding American flags. And I also noticed that he's wearing a special costume. Hmm. And it's in the month of July. <gasps> that must mean this is a celebration for the 4th of July. <gasps> How fun. All right, friends, let's play a game. Every time you hear a word with a j, I want you to jump. Are you ready? I sure hope you're ready because it looks like there's a whole lot of J's in this poem. We're probably gonna get tired, but let's do it. Okay? Julie jumps. Just for fun, Jaden jokes with everyone. Jamie judges homemade jam. Jana jogs with puppy Sam. Jordan juggles jacks and toys. July's a month of jumbo joys. I'm so glad that we got to read those alphabet poems together and talk about letters. I love reading poems with you. You're amazing. I'll see you again later.